I think for any of us trying to figure out all these different chatbots and how they work, going from site to site to site is a little bit of a pain. So Poe uh, actually enables you to do those from one single place. So if I were to say, all right, Poe, let's start a chat. I'm gonna say, tell me about Seer Interactive, okay? And it goes through and gives me an answer. Um, some of it might be right, some of it might be wrong. But what I really like about Poe is then you can say, compare it to ChatGPT4, and it'll come through and give you all the answers for GPT4. So now I'm not having to, and I know it sounds small, but having to go to site after site after site, and then trying to copy and paste from one place to the other to see how these things are, what they're getting right and what they're getting wrong can be a real big pain. Let's see if I can go ahead and trigger uh, something that it usually uh, messes up. So let's compare it to Gemini 1.5 Pro. And we got answers here. Hey, we have offices in San Diego and London. No, we don't. But this isn't about hallucinations. What it's about is speed. And I think all of us need to get more and more comfortable with almost knowing the languages of these different tools in a way that basically lets us say, all right, I can compare these things from one to the other, to the other, to the other. And one of the things I actually really like about this too, let's see if it'll show it to me. I don't think it will. Um, but it has a feature at web search. So it'll also go out and use the web to search and pull back in an answer as well. So it'll go out and search, tell me about Seer Interactive. It'll get a bunch of information and actually give you individual links to different sources on where it pulled information from. And again, this will be different, but I really like this idea of tell me about a thing that I, a query that I have and the ability just to run them in one after the other after the other, I think is the kind of thing that helps all of us to get a little bit better at being like, ooh, this one's getting better. Ooh, that one's really wrong still. And trying to just stay on top of all of the freaking change. And if you've heard of Mixtrol, you know, that's one that felt like it just popped up on the scene. They've got Mixtrol. They've got chat, uh, They've got um, Google's most recent version. So it might be worth paying the 20 bucks a month to go ahead and use this tool. It seems pretty cool to me. Adios.